look at me in my face and you tell me that the Lord did not come for you in your hour of need. When you were standing in line to get that vaccine, when you sat in that lab tech's chair, you looked me in my eyes and you tell me that Christ didn't beg you in your heart for you to walk away. Let me tell you a story. See, when I was a teenager, I was sexually assaulted. And I thought that because I already lost my purity to this man, that I had to go along with everything else. The night that he was gonna take my virginity, the Lord appeared to me as I was walking in the night. And he said, please don't do this. He gave me visions. He said, please don't do this. I pushed him away. He came back again. He said, please, I love you. Don't do this. I said, you don't understand. When I left my house, I made a choice. And he said, but you can still make another choice. You can still make another choice right now and you can go back home. And I said, I'm already here. And I pushed him away and I did the unthinkable. Found an ungodly soul time with ramifications that I'm still dealing with today. and the vaccine since 2014, my life was no longer about, is my name gonna get written in the Lamb's Book of Life? It's about how many people can I save from this fate? This vaccine is pure fear and manipulation and no good can come from it. Now, some of you are blocked off in the spirit and you say you prayed and you didn't hear anything and I understand, but many of you just made up your minds when you saw them on the news. You said, yes, I come into agreement and I'm gonna get that. Some of you got in your cars and you said, I'm here and I'm not turning back, but the Lord was telling you when you were standing in line, when they swiped you with that alcohol swab, walk away. I'm begging you to walk away. And you did it. You let him inject you. Some of you have side effects you're going to deal with for the rest of your life. And if you have kids, it's going to be passed on to your kids. And some of you won't ever repent because you don't see what you did as a bad thing. And I understand. I was once in a place of rejection and fear where God wasn't sovereign in my life. I understand. But you cannot look me in the eyes and tell me that God didn't beg you to leave that hospital, leave that pop-up shop. If, he, if you're going to tell me no, you weren't listening hard enough. No. I love you. I love you all. And I got too many messages from people in my, in my inbox. You guys got to repent, man.